Oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Hello, everyone. Retro Robbie here, and you know what today is. You know what today is. It is my favorite day and your favorite day as well. It is hump day. Yes, it is another episode of Retro Robbie Wild Wednesday Baseball Card Mystery Pack. And today I got 10 packs of something different. It is from Jason in Michigan. Uh, I am all in at $29.15. These are packs, repackaged packs, and they're called Three Bros in a Card Shop. So I've never seen this before. I've seen a couple of ads on eBay, so I figured I'd give, give it a try. They say it's supposed to be from like the 70s to current. I don't know. I'm skeptical. But we got 10 packs. We got to open up. So we're not to waste any more time. Let's open it up. So this one was kind of like, uh, do I buy it? Do I not buy it? Well, let's show it. Maybe some people have seen it. Don't know what it is. But they're they're out there on eBay all over the place. Look at that. It's a package within a package. Package sealed for our protection in yours. Oh, it, you know, I just don't know if, uh, you know, if this is worth it or not. So I figured I'd open them up. Give it a try here. Have you guys' thoughts, and then you can make a decision if you want to buy these eventually on your own or not. That's why we do these, to see if they're worth buying on eBay. So, man, this one's sealed good. Let me get my scissors off. It's super sticky. It's sticking my fingers and everything, man. Hey, got the seal up really good. There it is. Destroying my left hand scissors, that's for sure. So, here we go. Damn, this should be 10 packs there. And, oh, man. Tape on tape on tape. You must watch me because you want to see me struggle with tape. Masking tape, too, nonetheless. How often do you see masking tape? You see painter's tape all the time. But you don't see masking tape. That is for sure. Something different. Oh. Yeah, I remember back in the old days, that was all you could get was masking tape, just like that. So, all right. Ribbon is open. Man. These people, gotta give them props, man. They sealed it for our protection. Holy cow, and it's in a zippy bag. Oh, I can take a sandwich to work the next day because they gave me a sandwich bag, but you know what? I'm not gonna waste time. I'm just gonna open this bad boy up. Come on. You people want the cards. You don't want sandwich wraps, so there we are. That's what they look like. Oh, it is 10 packs. Each containing 10 cards. We're gonna have 100 cards here. So we got, uh, so three bros in a card store. So let's see if these three bros are legit or are they scammers? So let's open it up. Modern and vintage. We want the vintage, that is for sure. That's the first edition. So let's see here. Is there any ads or anything like that? Nope. So let's see if it's a scam or if it's worth it. Uh, these bros are legit, man. So here we go. Here's the first pack. Boom! <laughs> We're getting a classics. Oh, no! <laughs> John Orton of 1990 Classics of the California Angels. I hate classics, so not a good start. So here we go. After that, we got 1987 Willie Upshaw of the Toronto Blue Jays. And after that, we got Bob Brenly of the Arizona Diamondbacks on a 2003 Tops. And that's not in good condition for 2003. And here's the next card, Steve Trassel on 2003. Wow, looks like it was uh, Gloss Loss. Yep, we got Gloss Loss on this card. And up next, another 2003, we got Gary Sheffield of the Atlanta Braves. I can see where this is going right now. So after that, we got Hojo. Get some Hojo love. I'm 86 Fleer with the wrong team. We should be with the Tigers, not the Mets. Me and Mets rules have this thing, so... There it is. There's Hojo on the New York Mets. After that, we got 1990 score of Steve Jeltz of Philadelphia Phillies. And after that, we got Scott Erickson on Pinnacle there. I believe that's 93, 94. And after that, we got Ron Ventura on a 1991 upper deck. And the last card's going to be Neil Heaton of the Pittsburgh Pirates on a 92 tops. And, yep, I can see where this one's going. <laughs> oh, boy. 
All right, let's see. Hopefully they put some good insert cards in here or good cards in here. Not the 1990 classics, Mike Marshall from the Mets. That's for sure. Bleh. Oh, after that, we got Tim Leary on 87 tops. This kind of reminds me of the Yak Packs, man. These are awful. We got Phil Nevin on those 2003 and more gloss loss cards of Dave Justice. Uh, and after that, we get more classic cards of Eric Yielding. Uh, after that, another Hojo, because you can never have enough Hojos in your life. He's a TTMer, so I got to get some signed. Maybe we'll get some of this 86 stuff signed and get some Tigers cards signed because that's what's most important are the Tiger cards getting signed. After that, we got Brian Smith, uh, 1990 score. After that, we got Todd Van Poppel, the uh, rookie or the prospect that laid it out on a 1994 pinnacle. Man, after that, we got Robin Ventura. Got Ace's brother there, so there he is. All righty then. On a 1992 Fleer Ultra. Yeah, last card, hey, you've got a little value there. On a 1992 Tops, it is Jose, can you see? Ah, the Oakland Athletics. So, yeah, I have a feeling three bros are not my bros. That is for sure. Oh, here we go. Because it always seems like to be a same, same theme, just like the Axe Packs. <laughs> I mean, these might be even worse than the Axe Packs. <laughs> There's Fred Lynn on those icky classics. Up next, we got Joe Long, Youngblood. Oh, the San Francisco Giants, 87 tops. Up next, more of those icky 2003 tops with a whole bunch of gloss loss. Looks like they... <laughs> well, now they're like getting a bunch of gloss loss cars. Come on, what are you going to do? Uh, there's Mike Stanton. The other one was Kurt. There's John Flattery of Tampa Bay Rays. Nothing important. <laughs> Every pack you get a 1986 Hojo. Here we go. Our third Hojo. Three packs. Three 1986 Fleer Hojo. That's it. He's getting signed. <laughs> I am sending him out in the mail tomorrow because we all love Hojo. So I'll see how. I know I have to pay for his autograph. So. Still, it's kind of fun. We'll get some 86 Hojo signed. There's a 1990 Ruben Sierra. And after that, get some Tigers Love there on the 94 Pinnacle. Oh, Milk Collier. And we're going to get a studio card from 2001. It's Robin Ventura of the Mets. That's a nice card of him. After that, we got Jeff Reed on the 1992. So I'm seeing a theme here. Whole bunch of nothings. These three bros are not my bros. They're a bunch of losers. So here we go. I'm going to get a whole bunch of junk cards, I see. No vintage whatsoever and no modern whatsoever. They're just all junk. So there's Willie Randolph, all the Oakland A's. But if I guess if I'm going to collect 1990 classics, yes, you know, you get a bunch of them, that's for sure. After that, you get the Mets leaders, a Carter and Strawberry on 87 tops. More 83 to disgrace cards. There's Alex Gonzalez of the Cubs. Get my Cubs love. Sammy Sosa, all destroyed with gloss loss. Gloss loss. Oh, uh, right you can tell it's a gloss loss card. Not much value now. Man, I have to get Tino Martinez from St. Louis. <laughs> Another Hojo from 1986 Flair. Because you can never have enough Hojo cards in your life. <laughs> oh, it's coming a joke now. Oh, yeah, we got Lenny Dykstra. There's Nails. Uh, 1990 score. And John Franco. Oh, Pinnacle. And, of course, last card's always going to be a 1992 Tops. This time of Gary Varsho of the Pirates. Oh, man, these packs are horrible. <laughs> Three bros. Yeah, my, yeah, you know. Three bros are not my bros, that is for sure, because we're going to get a whole bunch. Yeah, I'm going to start all with 2003 gloss loss cards. <sighs> this time a Juan Pair of the Rockies. There's Eric King on 87, the Tigers. Uh, Robert Fick. I'm Robert Fick. Man, that throws, that's a name from the past. Holy cow. And a gloss loss 2003. And we got some more very gloss lossy of Jason Gambini. Oh, season highlight has to be a, a 2002. 
Well, yeah, it's all faded and lost, lossy. Of course, then there's the classics of Felix Jose, because everyone loves classic cards, right? Nope. And that, oh, there's an insert card. We'll take that. That's probably our first decent hit, we'll call it. That's a Team 2000 from Pinnacle. I always love these cards. They're always so sharp. Of course, it's not a good player, but okay. Well, Leo Gomez, he was probably good. Autographs 2000, how good was Leo Gomez for the Baltimore Oreos? So we'll set that one aside because it's an insert card. We got Tim Raines, Tim Mark Raines there. Uh, 90 score. More Robert Fick. All right. I'm getting some Robert Fick love here. Out of Bowman. Chrome. Oh, there he is. Robert Fick. Oh, man. You're just throwing the. The, the, the old-timer names at me here. Very nice. I'll have to see Robert Fick. Oh, there he is. 1998. And last card's going to be Eric Hansen. Got his autograph. So, last five worthless packs. Let's open them up and laugh at the players. You know what? I didn't get a hold you that time. Kind of disappointed. I got, like, three Robert Ficks in that one, but no hold you Come on. Oh, you know, he has a sign of the cards. There's Barry Zitto. That's actually a decent 2003 card, at least. Scott Nelson on oh, ASM Tops and more of a 2003 because we don't have enough of them. There's CC Shabasif. Oh, the Cleveland Indians. And more Gloss Loss cards of the league leaders of Manny Ramirez, Mike Sweeney, and Bernie Williams. Look at that. That's just Gloss Loss, man. Holy cow. Uh, whoever had this in a heater, they probably and then they repacked it. All their damage cards. Thank you so much. Not nah. up next. We got Keith Hernandez on the Cleveland Indians. After that, I got Mike Devereaux on a 91 upper deck from Baltimore Orioles. Jimmy Key on a 90 score. And we got Chris Winky on the Bowman there. Oh, let's see what year that is. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays, 1995 Bowman. After that, we got Jason Beer. Oh, the White Sox on oh, the Pinnacle. Last card's going to be 92. Of course it is. 92 tops. Jack Armstrong on oh, the Reds. Because you see a common theme here. They're all pretty much the same. Although, I'm kind of now, I'm in like about pack seven. I'm missing Hojo. I want more Hojo now. Because <laughs> it's kind of funny. And I'm done. I'm 2003. There's Marvin Wynn on Ace some Tops. Uh, Mike Lowe, Marlins, uh, Oakland A's, more gloss loss, whoopie do. Juan Samuel in the 90 classics. And, uh, you know, you, if you can't have one Leo Gomez in an insert card, you gotta have two. Well, now I gotta see if Leo Gomez signs. He's gonna have to sign this card for me because we all love Leo Gomez now. Dave Stewart, uh, score. Woo! 84 Fleer. Something different and exciting. Kevin McReynolds. Love Kevin McReynolds. Got his autograph. Caught his foul ball, too, in the spring training and got an autograph and met him in person. So I had dinner with him as well, part of the Kansas City Royals when he was with them. So very nice. I will take that. That's actually a decent card, considering there's not much in here. Robin Young on a Fleer Momentum. Looks like for the Mets, so it has to be around 2000, 2002. So 2002. And, of course, we're going to get a Willie McGee from 1992 top. So <clears throat> lots and lots of reprints and lots and lots of gloss loss cards. Come on. This is, this. you know you're excited for this. So there is another 2003. Uh, Ramirez, Ramirez, the Pirates, Brewers leaders, 87 tops. Danny Graves. More gloss loss cards. Man, this is all gloss loss, man. Whew. League leaders, Alex Rodriguez, Jim Tomey, and Rafael Primero. Oh, just too bad. They're just cards are worthless. Frank Viola and those 90s classics. Mike Devereaux oh, with the Baltimore Orioles. Getting a lot of Orioles cards here, that's for sure. Chad Cruder, uh, the Rangers of 90 score. Good draft kick pick. We got Ben Davis there in 1995 from the San Diego Padres. And after that, we got Dante Bichette of the Colorado Rockies. And we got Jeff Reardon on 1992 tops. As always, always end up 92 tops. And look at that, 1992 tops again. 
1992 tops all the time and a lot of 2003 tops holy cow just they just gave me all their gloss loss cards this, this one's not too bad it's uh wendell maggie oh detroit tigers man i don't remember him 2003 Ooh. played for the phillies too hmm. <clears throat> After that, we got a 1987 Sid Bream and Todd Jones with Colorado Rockies. After that, more gloss loss cards of Derek Lowe. After that, we got Kenny Montalano. And after that, more Mike Devereaux. Oh, yeah, now I got to see a Mike Devereaux signs, man, because, man, I get a lot of Devereaux cards in here as well. Oh, there's Tim Burchess. Uh, we got, oh, of course, got to get more Chris Wenke. Uh, and after that, we got a Bowman Heritage card. That's something different. Of uh, Ron Ventura. They must not really love that Ron Ventura. So let's see if he signs too. And well, there he is. That's a 2001 Bowman. Oops. And after that, of course, your eight, your, your eight, 92 tops there. Oh, Mike Gallio. Oh, open his last pack. Get through this torture. No. Oh, yeah. I didn't know where this one's going to go. No. Here we go with Pokey Reese. You gotta have a Pokey Reese card. Why not? There he is with the Pirates on those 2003 cards. Bill Dolly on 87. We got Todd Hundley there. The Cubs. Got the Cubs love. That's not too bad. After that, uh, Gloss Loss again of more league leaders of X Rodriguez, uh, Maggie Ordonez, and Miguel Tadia. So. Two bands, gloss, gloss. Pete O'Brien on 90, 90, uh, thing. More Mike Devereaux. Because you're going to have a, never have enough Mike Devereaux cards. We're going to get some TTMs. At least I got some TTM feels here. There's Rafael Palmero on the 90 score. That's not too bad. After that, we got the top 50 years there of David Chrysler for the Brewers and Grady Sizemore of uh, Montreal Expos. That's going to be the 2001. So we'll take that one. Not too bad. In good shape. And we got Joe Carter going for the uh, ball there. And what is that? <laughs> it looks like he's ready to hit the guy there, too, in the face. Oh, the, oh, the picture there, though. So that's different. We'll take that. And we got Jack McDowell as last card. Well, I got, unfortunately, I got 100 cards to go through. Probably won't be worth much. But uh, we'll pull all the double, triple, quadruples, six, eight cards that we got of the same player. Um, I'll show the highlights or low lowlifes. There's not much highlights in here. I'll have to find the most expensive card somewhere in here. <laughs> I don't know where. I, I give it my rating, which I think you knew what rating I'm going to give it. And we'll be right back. So stay tuned for the highlights. All right, we are back with the highlights or lowlights, if you want to call it, of these uh, 10 weird packs from uh, Three Bros and a Card Shop, which aren't the worth the money they're printed on because these were pure junk. <laughs> it's just, I'm just going to be flat out to say it. It was junk. Uh, there was not much in there. I think the oldest card was the 1984 uh, Kevin McReynolds card from Fleer. It was all junk wax. It was all pretty much commons for the most part. There was a couple little hits. But, you know, you got four Howard Johnsons uh, from 86 Fleer. And you got four Mike Devereaux. <laughs> I mean, I didn't get those signed because, you know, you got to make lemonade out of lemons. And that's what happened here. You know, you got two Leo Gomez's from Team 2000, two Chris Wankies. I mean, <laughs> there was a lot of rebreeds going on big time. It reminds me of the Yax Packs. You guys remember the Yax Packs? I should really buy a box of those. Those are funny as hell to open. They're worthless. And these are just like the same thing. I, I think they're in the same category as that. There were all junk cards in here. So I'm just going to get right to it. Uh, you saw that a lot of multiple players. I'm going to get these guys signed because I think it'll be fun to get them signed. Um, I think it'll be worth it. I'll see if they sign. I know Hojo signs. You got to pay for him. I'll check out the others. We'll get those out in the mail right away and get some TTM love from this because that's the only love I can get from this is get some TTM signs. So 
Uh, the highest cards, there were two decent cards. Uh, one of them was this 2001 uh, rookie card of David Krenzel from the Brewers and Grady Sizemore of the Expos. And we also got my buddy there, Robert Fick of the Detroit Tigers. So that kind of put a smile on my face. I remember Robert Fick. You know, some names you forget over time, and he was one of them, and... Uh, I remember him watching him and play in the minors and then play, play for the Tigers. So it's kind of cool again. That's this rookie card on a Bowman Chrome. Uh, both of these ended up being back at low of 60 cents. Yes, that was, these were two of the highest cards were 60 cents back at low. So all of this, I paid $29 and 15 cents. So you know what this is going to be worth. Not much. Back at low of all this ended up being seven dollars and twenty-eight cents. Yes, only seven bucks. I lost twenty-one dollars and eighty-seven cents. Um, I guess the only funny factor was all the multiple cards of the same player. That was that was the only thing that made me laugh. Other than that, I would have cried from this uh opening here today so that's the way it goes you get the good you get the bad and you definitely get the ugly and this is an ugly this is a worthless product don't buy it if you see anything from three bros in a card shop it's pretty much three uh, losers in their basement uh putting a bunch of junk cards together that's what it is you know how i'm gonna rank this i rank this from anywhere from two thumbs up two thumbs down i think you know how i'm gonna rank this i'm gonna rank this Two thumbs hey, down. down. I'm not going to blame the guy for it because there are actually quite a bit of eBay uh, listings for this. This is kind of like the cheapest one of them all. So that's why I picked it. I mean, some of those packs were going for really expensive, which kind of shocked me. Uh, so I'm giving it two thumbs down. Do not buy from three bros in a card shop. Unless someone has a story they want to tell me that it is the best thing since sliced bread. But I doubt it. There wasn't much in here. I might keep one or two cards. I might uh, do some TTM love. That would be fun to do. I can do some TTMs here. Especially the Baltimore Orioles. Got a lot of Baltimore Orioles players in here. So we'll, give it, we'll get some TTM love. So leave your comments. Make jokes of it. I don't care because this was awful. So leave that comment. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.